Hello fellow vendors, this is Peter here with PM Designs. In this video I'm going to show you a quick fix for this problem that you may have if you have um, extra accessories hanging off of your uh, character and you've rigged them and now the bits, the floaty bits are not following. So I've just finished making this model and I'm now rigging it. I've just started so I thought it would be a good opportunity to share this little tip in case you don't know or a little fix in case you're having this problem. Um, because this character has lots of little dangly bits, lots of uh, zips and buckles and things hanging off of him, which when you initially, if you just do automatic weighting, they won't necessarily follow the, the mesh correctly, they might even go through the mesh, and this is just a really quick way to fix it without having to bother with weight painting, it's just really, really quick. So I'm just going to simplify this. Okay, so my... The, I've done most of it, but at the moment I've just got this problem down here with the straps on these boots. So it's very quick. You can see, you know, some bits are parented all right, not all of them. But so I'm going to separate all of these off. I'm going to click on the boots, go into edit mode. I'm just going to hover over the the bits I want to get rid of and press L, select all of them, all the all the individual pieces, and then press P, separate selection. So now I go back into object mode, select that uh, new object, go to modifiers, add a modifier called data transfer, check the source, the source is going to be the boots, go down here to vertex data, enable that, expand it, choose vertex groups, and click generate data layers, and then apply this modifier. So you can do it this way, or just hover over and hold control, press A. So now, the straps have copied from the nearest vertex all of the, the weight data. So there will still be some problems because I can see there that the buckle is bending, but um, that's just, that's the majority of it fixed. So now I could go in, I can go into this part, I can actually join it back um, and it will still work, which is what I want to do anyway. So I'm going to go back into object mode, I'm going to come in here and just zoom in closer to this one. I'm going to select all of that, all of that, switch to vertex select mode, and I'm just going to choose this vertex. And so now this is the highlighted vertex, and I get this come up in my item menu, press N to open that, and it tells me all of the weighting data here, and I'm just going to press copy. So now each of these all has the same as that one. So hopefully it won't um, stretch and bend as much as it was earlier. Yeah, it's just staying solid now. I don't know if you can see the difference. And there's another one which is deforming quite a lot, but yeah, that one's fixed. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. If you did, please drop a like, and thanks very much. Bye.